<laughs> oh snap. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure. Why? Why is this here? Why? It's like, like, I just got through such good storytelling of a great character, and then the main character is this bullshit. Fuck off. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Welt has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> Annoying. I envy your close Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Yep. Which is we've established that three times now. We continue working together. So rule three, I guess. He has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. I mean, I just for the dead. Maybe we should now get out of here. One second. I am the bone of my bad stars. My body troubles is my bone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? Cue explosion of some kind, maybe? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about, about to, to begin. begin. His voice can be standing a little louder. The Club Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. So where HR3 players lose their self? Oh, no. I ain't ready for all that. I've never played HI3, so I have no context at all whatsoever. I'm talking to people. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. What a line. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Um, Acheron is kind of a game changer, I feel. She's definitely a game changing character. Uh, she's very strong. Um, her free to play viability is a little rough, but she's still good even then. And um, and mostly by what I mean by free to play viability is like her light cone is like is a massive difference. Um, it is possible to play her without it, obviously, but it is a massive difference. But she is very, very, very strong. And with lightning being such a common element um, and a good element, uh, it is she her kit her entire kit just kind of doesn't even care if anything has lightning either. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yep. My account's power level went up quite a bit. Yeah, I think I think Acheron is right up there with um, 
I think she is she's like kind of the opposite of Jing Liu. Um, yes, I have E2. Yes, I have uh, I have E2. Um, I kind of feel like she is the opposite of Jing Liu in that Jing Liu out of the box E0 whatever you know you can use the her to light cone for her is and has the easiest path to successfully high MOC constantly clearing damage right she is super strong really easy to build no problems at all super free to play friendly i would say every player playing the game should have a jing liu on their account they will probably never need another ic dps again right acheron is that same but in the opposite direction if you have an acheron on your account and you invest heavily into her. You get her team together. You get her light cone together. You get her relics together. She will do more than Jing Liu, but she is worth it. Like there is there is no drawbacks at all to setting up a team for Acheron. Whereas like Daniel as an example, who also has a very high damage ceiling, um, he requires a lot of the same things that Akron requires in terms of like building a team around him, but I still feel like from a from a playing standpoint because I have ET and I have E two Dill, mind you. I feel like from a playing standpoint, he is still harder to use and find success with than Akron is. There is just something about the way her kit functions and the way you can build a team around her that she just does a little bit more work just a little bit more i feel in certain contexts the village is a little more. i feel like they're both just as powerful like i feel like they both break the fucking game especially if you get for e2 on either of them but there is definitely something about acheron in particular even at e0 that sort of elevates your account she is very 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 strong and i think a lot of it also had to do with how people have to team comp around her being forced to bring nihility characters allowed more people to realize that pella as a character defense down as a stat, as a as a as a debuff, is incredibly strong, and so a lot of people's accounts leveled up just simply from the fact that, in order to fully use Acheron, they had to start using characters that they may not have been using before that are just incredibly strong, like Acheron or like Pella as an example. I think a lot of people have slept on Pella since the beginning of the game. Um, not everybody, obviously, but a lot of people have. So I feel like that is really where her strength comes in is that it's kind of opened up the box that, oh, I have these other tools that I need to use. I invest a lot now into Pella and Gui. And yeah, and, and Gwen Iphan is another, is another character that people are investing in now because of that, because she is another other option as well. So yeah, I think um, I think Acheron is, was a game changer. I As much as Dill um, was a game changer as well in terms of still the highest, like, uh, ceiling, um, or one of the highest ceilings, uh, Acheron was a game changer for everybody. She was the, like, Dill, I think, is, is supposed to be an emanator of of longevity. And you feel that, especially if you get his Eidolons. But Acheron really feels like the, uh, like a, um, like an Archon from Genshin Impact, right? It, you really feel the difference of character. And if you've ever played Genshin and you've played with any of the Archons, even Venti, like, Dill feels like Vent, the Venti of the game, right? He was the first Archon that you get, and he's still good, but it doesn't, it, it's still, it feels good, but it's not quite there. Um, whereas you get to Archons, uh, 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 Archons like, um, like Zhongli and Farina and um, Nahida, you're like, oh shit, this is power. Like you have real freaking power in your hands of this character. And that's the best way I can compare Acheron is it's like Dill is the Venti of the Acherons of the Emanators and Acheron is obviously the Raiden Shogun of that situation, right? And because Raiden Shogun is also like using Raiden Shogun is a very different game. Uh, so yeah, I think that's, I mean, that's the best way to uh, explain it. Yeah, same video, same one. No way for her to five star version diamond. It probably will be. <laughs> it probably will be diamond or something. Or we either get five star. Uh, any other eliminators? Her five star version will be the iridition eliminator. 
probably. Diamond will be the preservation emanator. I can't wait to see that. Um, more than likely, the if we do ever get a hunt emanator, um, it'll probably be one of the leaders of one of the other Xian Show ships, so a character we probably haven't seen yet. Or at least maybe even like uh, Su Shang's mom or something like that. Because she, she's from a different um, a different ship. And I believe she, she, always, she always talks about her mom. So maybe her mom or something like that. Um, if we were to get an emanator of abundance, um, I'm not sure. Think of the five-star march would be an emanator. I don't know if we're getting a five-star march because they mentioned we're going to get other paths of march. Kind of like the trailblazer. So I don't know if we'll actually get a five-star march, just other versions of March in the same character, which would be cool. Because they didn't do that in Genshin where you had another character that kind of evolved with you over the course of the game. I may not like March, but mechanically I like her kit. And so if they do other things with that, that would be kind of cool. Um, but that's a, that is a possibility um, of the Remembrance, perhaps. Because I don't think... Because Black Swan's not an emanator of Remembrance. Um, so I think it's definitely possible... Um, and then, honestly, we're the closest thing to an Emanator Destruction that there would be right now. Um, being that we are a Stellaron. Uh, so an Emanator of Destruction would be interesting because we've met one. She's still alive. We've, she's talked about at least two others. And we know there's seven in total, right? So one of them could be a playable character at some point. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's go. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? I want to be area of destruction who just died. Fentilia didn't die, though. And, um... Um... Lord Inferno was not an emanator of destruction. Oh, would be emanator. Oh, you mean would would be emanator. Got you. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. He was not an emanator. He wanted to be an emanator, but he was definitely he was not an emanator. It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Y'all talking about us over there? Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate in the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. People were so sad when it became clear he most likely would not be playable. I'm fine with that. It doesn't matter. If People came too I attached. Strength is required. Did you spend to get to E2 S1? Yes. I did swipe. <gasps> a boss! May and Cat. Adventure seems to have waited for quite some time on the stage in the center clock studio's theme park. Join the crazed gambler for a perfect collaborative performance that will blow everyone in Penicone away. Finally, we are here. Let's see. Let's see, physical ice and lightning. Man, they really do just set it up so you can knock it down. Technically, I should probably bring Pella, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this team. I'm gonna keep this team. I'm I'm really not that concerned about it. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Yeah, I did a little swiping when I was getting Akron's E2. 
but not a lot because I ended up just, you know, there was a lot that was coming in, so. Where is this light coming from? Yeah, I've seen the charts. Roughly per patch, I believe, if I remember correctly from the charts, it's anywhere between 10 to 15 more pulls on average that you get in HSR than you get in Genshin, which may not seem like a lot, but it is. Astral Express, you're late. And this, Unsocus. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. Yeah, the permanent event thing is a big, big part of that as well. And all the stuff in Simulated Universe. There's a lot. Well, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Celeron! Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. Of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family is Death does not exist in dreams. Oh, three homicides. Is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? Okay, good. I'm glad I was like, wait a minute, three homicides? That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In a truly grand death. You. Calling me that, buddy. You will become the personification of oh God, are you gonna try to use the Celeron inside me to do some bullshit? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident. Dude, that's not going to happen. Worst case scenario, Welt will just be like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> or, or Acheron will be like, no. <laughs> Yes, yeah, enough about you, synthetic black hole, exactly. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. That's enough synthetic black hole. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> you won't do it. Uh, it's it's funny because uh, back when I used to do uh, a lot of roleplay stuff on forums and things like that, I had a character who had power over like black holes and shit like that. So that's another reason why I like Welt so much. He's just an older version of that character. Of course I can. Used to piss people off. They're like, you can't do that. It was like, well, we kind of came up with it. It's how it works. You just get fucked. Kind of crazy. We have the power of black hole. The 
Blood could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Well, it's OP in every game. Have you ever True. Heard the saying, Sleep is the rehearsal of death. No, I haven't, I but it's a interesting sleep. line. Yapping. Just yeah, just straight yapping right now. You done yapping? Cool. Interesting. He actually calls out. That is interesting. He actually calls out that we have a preservation like thing. Let's go. Awesome. He looks so cool. He looks so fucking cool. See him as I see trivia investment in one of the ten stone hearts. Using his cornerstone, he obtained a share of the authority of an emanator of preservation. He throws his own body into the game to die, ready to face death in order to walk away alive. Cool. Reminds you of Tartaglia? Just a little bit. It, it, there's definitely a Tartaglia energy going on here. I definitely agree. I definitely agree. In fact, one second. Let me look at something real quick too. Target either the gamble. You're telling all or nothing is a type target that is a gamble. The target will receive a random number between one and six. After a target that is the gamble has finished their turn, targets with numbers lower than adventurous treasures will be considered to have lost the gamble and be attacked. While those are numbered higher than adventurous treasures are considered to have won the gamble and have their ultimate reactivated. Oh, he's going to activate ultimates? Oh, this fight's over. I don't even. This fight's over. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I'll keep it on slow mo for now. You can still walk away. Stand down. I weep for the departed. Dust spring. The two shall fall. I didn't get enough energy to flame. Leave the rest to me. Defend the weak. I do think it's interesting that he calls out the uh, the architect's flawed stone. Like the the it's interesting because it has such a connection to uh, clip off. Because this character is targeted. Then we have to like dice roll, I guess. Lance of blaze. When the gamble yield was inactivated. Cool. Let's play hide and seek. A thousand faces in a thousand places. Can you find the answer? Let's pick it up a notch. Did you come here of your own volition? The still waters of oblivion I guide the wandering souls. I weep for the departed. Mm. 
Man Phase 2. Well, it's also one of my favorites. It is one of the coolest in the game, for sure. That's right. That's why we never give up on the gotcha and never stop rolling. True. You might end up killing him before seeing any of his fun ults. Probably at the rate I'm going. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> to say I'm not surprised is I'm not surprised. Ac just Yeah, just an Acheron moment. <laughs> All targets into the gamble. There it is. Okay. I like this music. Hell yeah. points that's not good i see you gotta get points i see the more dice you hit the more points you get gotcha 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 maybe a weekly next new weekly loss possibly possibly he will definitely be an mo the next moc he will definitely be in the next moc for sure he will definitely be in the next moc no doubt and he'll probably be in the next simulated universe. <laughs> Which, that's going to be interesting. Well, this has been fun, I weep for the departed. but I weep for the departed. Just Acheron things. Go <laughs> fucking sky laser.
unlimited blade works. He literally, he literally did the, uh, what is it? What is his name? A Gilgamesh thing, except with money, right? He did literally the Gilgamesh sword thing, but with money. <laughs> with poker chips. You're leaving? Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. True. Harmony would definitely be incredibly opposed to nihility. Even if not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. And they never need to, yeah. Ix, Ix would have never have any reason to look at anything because it's all supposed to end in nihility. There are there are no emanators. It makes it actually makes a tired sense that her being an emanator nihility is like weird. Like, even even in the databank, we read about, like, certain groups that follow the path of nihility. But one of them is, like, we follow the path of nihility to prove it wrong. Right? Like, it's weird. There are always those who rise from the shadows. True. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color. Not much. That is enough. That's what you mentioned exactly is. Fair enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. I like it. wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Wow, that was, I actually got chills, that, that was nuts, holy shit, look, it's Crimson Weave, true, true, damn, that was, that was actually a nuts cutscene, that was, that was so, <laughs> shut the bad to the Shadow Realm, literally opened up a piece of Nihility, that is what it truly means to be an emanator. Holy crap. It kind of puts into context a little bit um, the fight between Jing Yuan, Dill, and um, <sighs> Fantilia, right? It also puts into context that a little bit. But, like, emanators are supposed to be also the, like the con some of the concentrated power of a path. And then, like, for there to be only one Nihility Emanator, I imagine she is more powerful because of that. This is a giveaway to get more players into Police Wife Fracker. True, she's the only Emanator of Nihility. <laughs> Clearly, this is all a plot. It's all a plot. This, I think, I think Aventurine's face here expresses expresses it all. Like, what? <laughs> 
Like, I don't think... Here's the thing. Adventuring didn't know she was an emanator of nihility. She, th He, I assume, thought she was an emanator of, like, the hunt because she was a ranger, right? Because I'm pretty sure the only person who figured it out was um, Inferno and um, Welt. I also want to point out we have now three factions who want to kill an Aeon. Acheron wants to kill Ix. Maybe. Genie and Alicia want to kill the Abundance. Definitely. And Stellar Hunters want to kill Nanook. True. But I also think they want to replace him with us. This is just my thought process. She literally to the shadow realm with you, mind crush. <laughs> Damn. Well, it's not clear that Ekron is only an Eminem nihility. They literally just talked about the fact that Ix has never looked at anybody, will never look at anybody, and then Bootleg also Boot Hill also describes like she is an Eminem that should not exist. I'm going to take it at face value for what it is instead of doing random weird speculation that she is the only emanator of nihility. Uh, have I, have I don't have like leaving seen? leaving open random doors for no reason. Have have I succeeded? She replied, I want to die. Damn. Be a self annihilator? Being a self annihilator doesn't necessarily make them an emanator. It's different. Have you checked Akron's faction in the game yet? Welcome no, I don't. To this sad world. No, they're not. Okay, because you guys are doing, having me do this in the middle of playing this, I guess I'll have to just look it up. Okay, so the faction as a whole are self-annihilators. These are individuals who basically become self-annihilators. Nowhere in there does it say all of them are emanators. Remember that an emanator is different than an like just a group of people. This is an individual, okay? So nothing in there suggests that all of them are emanators. That makes no sense. So as far as I'm concerned, you're wrong. You're Moving on. Yes, like the Genius Society. Yes, her doesn't have an but the rest maybe not. Exactly. And the way they describe it in the story is that she is the only one. You can speculate all you want. I'm not going to entertain the notion until I have more evidence to the contrary. Can you? Nope, he's just shivering there in the sea. Okay. Why does it look like there's two tiny eyes? Two tiny eyes right there. It's probably not. It just, it's just kind of the way it looks. Am I the only one who sees that? Please tell me I'm not the only one who sees this. <laughs> it's probably not the case, but it does kind of look like if you look around, there's no other. I guess there's kind of a spot up here, but if you just look straight ahead, it kind of looks like there are two tiny eyes. <laughs> Ix is out here, out here, out here, like looking at you. Well. Is that one of his idols putting perfume on? 
This guy is literally standing in the middle of the sea of nothing, and he's like, I'm sorry, that's that's fucking funny to me. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Oof. Melody, is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form. And even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So. Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? Still looks like there's an eye back here, I'm just saying. This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. This is the first, uh, this is a good look at her model in this form. It was good. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there to that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering Penacone the legacy of the watchmaker the true land of exile how did you find out I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything it's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Eh? Wait, what do I have to do with this? Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? I'll just be honest again. I'm lost again. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths 
but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. You are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Ooh. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. Yeah, because I mean, it's not even the full power of the, of the Emanator Preservation. It's a piece of the power of the Emanator Preservation. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. Hm. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. I'm gonna be like an emanator of luck. And go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Interesting. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? Because life is suffering. I don't and that's think okay. this, I never have. Nor do you. <laughs> But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. Yep. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. <laughs> Why, then, do we struggle against it let me let me let me to to quote uh, a really good uh, a really good uh <laughs> 
to quote a really good song, you know, if anybody's ever had a chance to uh, play Final Fantasy XIV, you should, and you should remember the song Answers, okay? Because it, it just, it just is, it just is. Life is, is suffering. You, it just is, and that's okay. You have to learn, you know, you have to suffer, learn, um... And enjoy what you have while you have it. Like all these other things kind of like come into the whole concept of it, right? Is like, yeah, it's all inevitable. We're all going to die and it's terrible. But if you're not if you're not going through all that, then you're not really living. That that is that is life. That's just part of it. And that's okay. Don't think about it too much. Basically, it's really that's basically my answer to the question of like why do we struggle against it? <sighs> because, you know. There are parts of life that are definitely worth living. My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. Everybody has to have their own answer. I wasn't cooking too much. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? It's a, like a lot of this is a lot of um uh overly worded answers like like it's their own answer but it all basically boils down to the same thing so you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared even if the ending has been predetermined the verbose, yes. fine, there are countless things that humans cannot change but before the end there are many things that humans can do while on their journey because in a lot of ways like all right, your your life may not like your life is going to come to an end, but there's still someone living on after that, and someone on after that, and someone on after that, and someone on after that. So you do as much as you can in the life, the time that you have, in order to make the next person's life better, hopefully, and the next person's life better, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and so on and so forth. And because of this, until it all does come to an end, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. The struggle is to know. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. The impossible in the dream is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Huh! Of course, of course, Ratio's like, I figured this out a long time ago. I'll just, you know. There you go. <laughs> uh, then I shall get this is the part where we hit Sparkle's button. <laughs> Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave? This dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. I still see them. Okay, I'm telling. Okay, I am telling you right now. That at every angle of this thing, there are eyes, okay? I'm telling you, it's, I know it's like the human condition to see faces where there's like, oh, like potential eye stuff. And I am telling you right now, this thing has two eyes and I can see them. <laughs> they're very small, but it, like, I'm just telling you they're there. Then are you going to? There's two, like, there's like several little pixels that are just vastly darker than everything else and they're just separated enough to look like two eyes. I'll get there one day. I believe you, but stream quality says nah, you're not saying it, gotcha. But not now. Damn, you're trying to tell me my stream quality is shit? Damn. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. And know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with my family. So, 
until that time comes. 720p. Wait, why is it at 720p? What the fuck? Should be a 1080. Stream, what the fuck are you doing? Check on that. That's ridiculous. No, even on when I go over Twitch, it won't go up to 1080p, which is weird because it should be in 1080p. Hmm. Preparing for what? Well, I'm preparing to face them, Kakamasha, and to make them proud. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyatra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping, keeping your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Hmm. The hope of the martyrs in my heart I descend into the slumber of, of tonight until the denount, denount, denouement of all coming morrows kisses me. I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night by every dark, daring gamble. No vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows no quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another. Till mire and shrouds his very breath and now in the unfathomable depths of the of dream the one falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest quietly peacefully it has as it at last landed the light of the adventuring stone <laughs> disappeared <laughs> only represents one outcome he kept his promise and got what he wanted as planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Thereafter, their cradle slumbers deepen in the sweet dream of the planet of festivities. Another stone begins to radiate light. I come light. for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to cling. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Congratulations, Goldie. Uh, I assume this is the part where the IPC invades? <laughs> you try to open your eyes but find only blackness before you. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Venturing unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Akron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. 
be a sign, Megiddo. You're awake. Sam! Sam saved us! Fuck yeah, let's go! Good job, Firefly. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm sad. Well, that wasn't one of my answers, unfortunately, Still so I went with the closest there. one to that. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you, but I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Yep. Eleven times. The terrible illusion of choice. The illusion of illusion of choice. In failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains. Who need no mercy. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sam's like, my specialty is killing people who uh, just deserve no mercy. <laughs> so, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Uh, huh? Oh, no. To be continued. Oh, you've got to be shitting me right now. Oh, you got to be shitting me right now. Labyrinth-like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. No, once I saw a lot of the theory videos, I was like, oh, no, this makes sense. Cliffhanger's classic. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> the German translation did spoil it a bit early, yeah. I remember you telling me about that. Scoundrel. Punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Damn, he just walked up his boss. You're crazy. You're a lunatic. spine and pulled out my fangs and now you want to accuse me of murder ridiculous only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets damn okay maybe i do like Gallagher. just at least for this moment what exactly is making you say all this nonsense you should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me i don't need you to remind me once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. Oh, is the his raven his? Magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Oh, shit. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? 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 Brother! Brother! Oh shit! Snap! Oh god! No way! 
Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Gallagher's not real? Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. Are you going to read the rest of that line? Did anybody else catch that? He didn't say the rest of that line, right? That line just cut off. Tell me I'm wrong. Minion of the enigm Enigmata? Who are the Enigmata? The Enigmata. Another Aeon. Another Aeon? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. That explains why everybody was like, I don't know who Galagar is. But wait, but Sin... Did I don't know. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. Despicable dog! Why did you kill her? It's a good line read. It's a good line read. <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Aw, oh, shit. Now Sunday's dead. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> well, I guess he gets to rest on Sunday. Fuck it, of course it's an interlude. <laughs> am I am emotion new nutty? So earlier, by the way, the last time I said, oh no, this person's the villain, the last person I said that about was Gallagher. Oh yeah, the bird's black swan. That makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Maybe, possibly. The raven might be black swan. Or the raven is the meat the death meme. It kind of looks like it because it has the same symbol on it. I don't think that's Black Swan. Mm. But it's not a swan. I don't know. But, but like, the, literally the last thing I said was, Oh my god, Gallagher's the villain! I 
All right, throw back to how old are you? I'm 13. 13 is death in tarot cards. Oh, God damn. Clearly Oz from Genshin official lost it again. <laughs> it's true. Clearly, clearly it's Oz. He lost his shit again. It's, it's official's Oz. It's true. God damn it. Okay, so uh, what? Are, how how do I put this? Pentacony's story is great. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, the bits with Gallagher. I know I skipped through them. I don't. I still don't regret that because he is a non-character. The fact that he is the villain at the end. I'm like, oh. He's the villain! Okay, cool! Like, I'm not... Like, I'm both not surprised, but also, like... I don't know. He's still a non-character to me. Because I... I okay. Pentecone's story is real good. I feel like they have now done too much. Right? There are too many cooks in this kitchen. Right? Way too many cooks in this kitchen. Way too many cooks in this kitchen. Okay? Sunday... Robin, Sparkle, Aventuring, Acheron, Welt, Gallagher, Black Swan, like, yeah, everyone, like, everybody just keeps one-upping each other, right? Like, they get one over on this guy, this one gets one over on that guy, and then this one gets one over on this guy, it's just, it's a constant, like, train. And then, oh, okay. Cool. That's pretty in depth. Okay. I see, I see that, I see that, I see that, Ken. That's pretty in-depth, but you know what? I don't care. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I just kind of don't care, right? I don't know why. I honestly cannot tell you why I just don't care. Like, Gallagher being the villain, I'm like, cool. Another Aeon, another thing causing problems with the Harmony and stuff. Cool. The IPC is still doing its thing. Cool. Acheron did her thing. Cool. We're here doing our thing. Cool. Like... We've reached a level of ridiculous one-uppery, is the best way I could put it, that I'm like, okay, what's going to happen next? Like, I'm just here for the ride. I'm just not thinking about it too deeply anymore. Yeah, Welt's just doing his thing, gravitational uh, 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 destruction or whatever it was. Just, you know. Okay. Um, complete the Trailblazer mission to walk among tombstones. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd like to see one of the ten stone hearts with a full stone and not a broken one. Same. I want to see what happens to Topaz or Jade if they go full, you know, full bunkai. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I also now really want to know what Diamond does. Because if Diamond is the one who gives out the stones as an emanator, I would kind of like, you know, see emanator versus like actual emanator versus actual emanator kind of thing. Some Captain Planet shit, yeah. Um, um, it's just cool. Like, I honestly, like, I, I kind of got onto this earlier when we were talking about the self-annihilators. I'm just not thinking about it too hard. I have no desire to think about it too hard. It just is what it is. You know who the game forgot about? Ting Yun. Surely she isn't dead. I mean, she's probably dead and I'm okay with that I'm, I'm okay with this I don't need her to come back anyways I think that's that is where I'm gonna end the recording for this and uh, basically my final thoughts on the Pentagon story 2.1 so far overly complicated and what was the word we used earlier verbose for almost unnecessary like it's actually really hard to follow at times and I don't think that's just because I'm streaming or because I'm dumb I think it's just really hard to follow at times like there's just so much going on it's actually reached a point where it's actually legitimately hard to follow exactly what's going on, especially if initially you don't care about a character like Gallagher's situation. Um, um, 
and as someone who also doesn't look for um, meaning in absolutely everything, um, the 13, death, all that stuff, to me it was just funny at the time. Finding out there's more meaning to it is cool, but it's like, okay, right? Like, I just I appreciate that it's there, but I also feel there are other places, like, where they use, like, several sentences to describe a situation. Like, Adventuring's story was really good, but the conversation between him and his future self were oftentimes overly long for no reason. Like, too many words, right? And I like reading, but there's just too many words. It's just too much. You just, you just, you don't need all the fluff, basically. You don't need all the fluff, basically, is what I'm getting at. Otherwise, totally fine story. I liked the bit between Welt and Acheron. Um, I like Acheron's role in this entirely. Yeah. I like Welt's um, role in this entirely. Um, I like that March 7th had very few lines, even though she is... F- God, I hate her character so much. The story, she adds nothing to the story. That's basically the best way I can put it. March 7th adds zero to the story that we are currently involved with. She did not need to be there. Frankly, Himiko didn't really add much either, but it's fine that she's here. I'm glad she's here, I guess. She doesn't annoy me. (laughs) Um, And that's, I think, again, my biggest problem is there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Of course, characters are going to fall to the wayside, so just why even have them there? Is kind of my point. Um, yeah. So. Uh, that's going to be the it of my playthrough of the 2.1 story for Honkai Star Rail. I hope you enjoyed this. If you don't like how I felt about this, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Leave a subscribe. Leave an unsubscribe. I don't know. Do something. Uh, help my algorithm. And uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.